actually I'm from China mm -hmm. and I didn't know I want to go to America for studying like in college mm -hmm. until I was like the last year when I was in high school like I decided in like one moment after like uh, like you know like a principal from another uh, university come to our school and just like you know gave us a speech and I feel like oh I want to go to America and study that's kind of like one of my coolest memory I guess yeah it's like only one moment alrighty today I messed up I don't know why but today I thought that I didn't have my class this morning I thought it was over Right, like last week I thought was the last week and then I realized, oh wait, no, 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 like I have it, this, it was, I had, this today was the last day, so I totally missed it. And so that's really, I mean, there's probably not too much stuff I needed to do anyway, you know, it's just like probably people picking up things and then, uh, like people like doing last minute glazing, so it's kind of like, there's not a lot of like teaching things I'd have to do, you know, so it's kind of like whatever, but, uh, I know some of the people probably, I wanted to give them all cups, and I can't even, I can't even remember if I gave them cups, I'm telling you, there's too many things going on that, uh, I just, my brain is just absent-minded all the time, so I don't even know if I gave them stuff or not, uh, but hopefully I'll see them sometime, <laughs> and if they'll be able to tell me, you said you'd give us cups, but we never got them. And then uh, I'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, here you go. Or they'll be like, thanks for the cup. And I'll be like, ah, oh, I did give them away. So it was just kind of funny. You know, I'm just sitting here thinking about it. I'm just like, oh, okay. Well, whatever. Um, I'm going to be moving all the, the boxes. Well, I made some handles this morning. And then I am going to be doing these boxes, unloading all of them, and scattering them around the, the place here. And then I can have more room in the basement. And then, um, I don't know, I think that's kind of, that's kind of it. Right now I'm making a, uh, I'm going to be making a logo. And, uh, this is the program I use. Fusion. This is, I do all of my my stuff on Fusion. You can see like just some random things that I've made. But yeah, I'm pretty excited, so I'm gonna do that and then you know we'll see we'll see how it goes. And then I'll print that out and then go downstairs and finish off the mugs. Um and then yeah I'll see you guys uh during the throwing here in a little bit. Okay? Peace. Alrighty, so I finished um, finished the stamp. I'll show it to you guys quick. Alrighty, let's see. I'll be able to see this. Yep, so there's the. The stamp, so that's going to go on the side of all these cups over here. The ones from yesterday. And I'm also making handles, so I'm letting those dry up. And while those things are drying up, I'm like, oh, it's a perfect moment to plop down on the wheel here and finish my, my three for the day. So that's what I'm going to do with you guys today. We'll first finish up the, the pots here, then I'll do the stamps and stuff, and then after that, uh, we'll put the handles on, and then I might make one more stamp today, and then clean up upstairs. And then I have to go to the Friendsgiving, so I'm going to be giving away those, uh, the, the goblets, you know, so that's going to be kind of, it's going to be exciting. 
I hope I can keep one of the goblets for myself. I don't normally say stuff like that. Like, I'd rather just give everything away, but... I think the... One of the goblets in particular is just... It really has a good energy. Uh, and when I mean good energy, I think, like, I would actually use it. Right? And it's not because it's better than the other ones. Right? Because there's some that are by far way better, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use them, you know what I mean? So, I keep, there's some chunk on the bottom here that's not coming off. There we go, I got it off. I wonder why that's happening. I think this clay is just so soft. When I push, I'm actually like, This is not getting centered at all. Well, this is one of those instances where it's close enough. Um, but yeah, you know, there's sometimes like uh, I look at an object and I'm like, oh wow, like I could drink like a glass of milk out of that as I'm editing. You know, like it had that sort of vibe to it. Okay. pretty good spot right now still a little bit off centered so right now we're gonna try to drag my finger down bump undulation no my finger hopped and sort of screwed this one up it's really thin right there I probably can't do another pull how thick are we in the bottom we're actually okay all right well that's about the, the height we're going to work with today so I lit that one what happened there was I when I got to the top I was going too much of a drastic pole so then when I started to speed up right I didn't have enough water on my hand and it snagged on a piece of, or a chunk and then it threw the, my finger, like skipped that line. You, like, imagine it's like uh, 3D printing, right? It's all like uh, all these levels. So it's like I almost, I skipped a level before it was complete, right? Let's just do this. Right there we go.
Nice. And I'm realizing if I go as wide as I possibly can on this thing, when it collapses, it collapses on top of the supporting material. So it just it's in a it's never gonna fully fall because it's being held up by that same thing, right? Like it's dipping down on this side. Well it's gonna just like dip down and hang out on top of the the spiral so it won't fully collapse. Unless it rips, obviously. these up and some of these chunks I got a little bit of a little bit of a, when I cut if I don't cut on the same line sometimes I get like a little oh, I don't know clay booger that I gotta just get off the pot there so pulling these aside just curl them up here. There we go. Sweet. Look at that. There's one of them. I mean, this one looks kind of sharp. It has a good, uh, has a good attitude to the pot. So that's one. All right. And I'm thinking about what should I make for the that Christmas thing that we wanted to do. I was thinking, um, do I make cup sets? Do I make mugs? And then I had the thought, like. Maybe I do like hot chocolate, right? And I, I uh, set some of those hot chocolate packets into the the package, the present. And then I'm thinking, how many of them should I do? And that I don't know, right? I think I'll just do it like. Uh, Maybe I'll find like a neighborhood, I'll sc scout it out, and then do do it like that. <laughs> um, but I'll kind of have to. We'll just see how it goes. I gotta first. I got some other projects. I gotta get underway here. And then recently, I was asked to do like a. A thing with some like some people who are donors at one of the places that I work. They wanted to do like a beer stein demo or whatever, and so I was gonna make a bunch of beer steins, and then just have them like draw on them and stuff. I have that same problem. I think maybe I'm just off today. Maybe I'm forgetting um, emotion. Okay. Straight down. Some water in here. I pull that out. But they canceled the beer stein thing, which I'm a little bit sad. It'll give me a good reason to bring some stuff up to that place. So, but I think I can bring these um, these bean and leaf um, mugs up to one of my places to get fired in a reduction kiln, which would be kind of exciting. I haven't been up there in a little bit. 
it's just hard because I don't think they it's at the end of a semester, right? And then I'm sort of like uh, like I don't know what I'm gonna do every day, right? And so when I just kind of get like this idea of like uh, if I go there, I I don't know how long I'm gonna be there for. And I still got to make sure I make my pots every day. It's kind of a little bit, like, frustrating, I think. Just because I don't know how long I'm going to be there for. And I think I have the ability to just dip whenever, right? But I'm also the type of person when I'm given a task, I like to, I like to do the task. Already went too thin. Oh man. Today's throne is really off. I also think my microphone is a little sticking out a little bit too far in my chest here, so it's kind of stressing me out. So I'm sitting a lot more upright than what I would normally do. Okay. Well. Here we go, let's get to the bottom here. here and we're gonna do one more pull on the bottom let's see I don't have to go all the way up just need to get some of this slowly let that calm down So that's as thin as we're going to go here. All right, we're going to start our poles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I ripped it. Whoa. And then I'll dry my hands off just a little bit on my pants here. And I'll twist this down. on the bottom part here. I really think I have a, my memory is getting worse and worse. I, but I, I wonder too how much of it is like me saying I have a bad memory so that my body is like believing it. Right? Maybe I gotta quit saying I have a bad memory. I gotta gaslight myself into thinking I have like the best memory ever. But yeah, it's just a shame. I think I'd be forgetting so much stuff. And people always be telling me stories that I don't even remember. So it's not a good sign. But maybe when I'm old. I can't remember anything. My body will remember the clay. This one is really nice. 
So this one we're just gonna we might just do the flips on this one. This one has a really nice contrast between bottom, middle, top. And so I think uh, I think that's how I'm gonna work with it today. I'm gonna do it. Emphasize that bottom, right? I'm not gonna on that last one I curled up the the skirt. But on this one, I'm going to just smooth the skirt down with my fingers here in a second. And so that's all I'm doing is taking some water and I'm just right smoothing those out. And you don't really have to do something like this. You could just less than normal. But it gives a little bit of a taper. So hopefully glaze wants to run from those edges, right? So whenever there's a edge of something, a rim of a cup, an edge of one of these little flowers or any sharp, sharp edge, glaze wants to run away from those edges, right? And so you'll notice that any time you have a pot that is being ready to be uh, taken out of the kiln and you're like, dang, like, wow, that rim is really, really sharp, right? It's because it's gonna turn out pretty much how it comes off of the wheel, right? Like if you have a, a pot that has a really sharp rim before it's fired, after it's glazed, if you don't have the right glaze, sorry, think, uh, think about what's inside of the glaze. If it's like a heavy clay body glaze, right? Like think like a like a chino glaze, a chino glaze would be perfect or something like that because it's going to be like, a, what's the word? Shit, I'm dropping stuff. It's going to be, um, not moving as much, right? Where if you have like a really runny glaze, although it might look pretty, you're also like, gonna risk the fact that it might uh, run away from those edges and you might have some really, really, really sharp edges. You can always sort of take a sanding tool, right, like a diamond sander, just sandpaper, and before you even glaze, just sort of sand those edges down a little bit, right? Like if you want to make stuff, but usually I don't really care too much. I'm thinking about like, if I have one that has sharp edges on it, in my mind, you know, then I have like, uh, I have like 16 cups. If I have one that has sharp edges, then I'm gonna have 15 that are fine, you know? And so I always sort of think like that, instead of like fussing over one pot for like too long, just make a whole new pot, right? And like, I know people say that, right? Like you'll run into ceramic teachers and they'll tell you that, but I don't think they really understand the extent that you can take that to, right? Like, if you don't like the pot, stop stop messing with it. Just let it be a, not a good pot. Take it all the way through, use it as a test, give it to somebody, you know, just make the things. You know, clay is really not that expensive. The classes that you're taking are the things that are expensive, right? So, you can find a place to fire or how you don't even need to fire and <laughs> you could be like me you just keep everything in your house and just practice so this is different clay so that's why it looks darker it's a lot more stiff so but yeah just make stuff because the more and more you make the the less and less you're gonna have to, to edit things because you're just gonna get better and better at it, right? stiff. 
but this clay is not as stretchy. This clay has a tendency to really want to tear just because it's a little bit more short instead of being plastic and stretchy. So But you can really put some more mustard on clay like this, which is always fun. I hope that one day pottery becomes like a, almost like a religion, right? As all the, the tech jobs get sort of snatched up by AI, it's going to be really cool. If we revert back to just like making things with our hands, right? That's why I always say like, I don't want to make pots that people can manufacture. Right? I want to make pots that only a human hand could could make that's the cool that's for me that's where real magic is okay so next we're going to do a compression pull here Taking it a little bit too high, but it's funny because this is actually less amount of clay than the, cl the previous two chunks of clay, right? Maybe it's around the same, but it's a little bit less, at least what I felt. Um, but the reason why I can get it a little bit taller, because it's a little bit thicker, right? Or not thicker, harder, right? That's the best. So you can get some clay that's like nice and like wants to almost like rip apart. Oh man, you're in a good spot. I'm gonna keep that tucked in here. Sort of use my fingers to. I know you guys can't see what the heck I'm doing, but we're gonna go now. Kind of at the top here. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. This one is nuts. Wow, guys. To me, this is probably one of the best ones in the past couple days. Right? Like, talk about contrast. And it's a little bit taller than the other ones. It has the height, it has the attitude, it has the contrast. This thing really, it feels like a, a water bottle that's just filled with air. Like when you were a kid and you'd like twist them and then like launch the bottle cap. 
off at your friends to hit them with it. This is like that, but clay version. This one feels great. I'm telling you, I can't wait until I run out of this batch of clay. When I get my next batch, last time, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was telling them, I said, uh, you know, if you get the chance, I would love to be able to have really hard clay. And he was like, yeah, sure, I got you. I can see. They have the, they organize them by date. And he's like, all right, I got you the softest clay, the newest stuff. And I was like, that's, that's the opposite of what I wanted, man. This is kind of funny. Um, but here we go. Boom. 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 Look at that. We're just going to slowly sneak these up. Sneak these up. And just look at that, guys. And this one, no, we'll do the same. We'll just smooth out the, the edges here. And let's see what we got cooking up. Alright, that's it. Where's the... Where's the tool at? Oh, there it is. But yeah, he gave me the softest clay. I'm, next time I'm... I'm about... I think in less than a month... I'll need new stuff. Maybe less than three weeks. Oh no, it's starting to fall. Alright, come on, yo. You gotta you can't be falling like that. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Crazy. So these are the ones I gotta finish here. I already did some, so I gotta cut those up, attach them on, put the stamps on, and then I'm ready to go. So I'll see you guys in a little bit afterwards, okay? Peace. There we go. Look at that, guys. That's the that's the ones I have, and then I got a bunch over here. So, all right, now I'm gonna go to Friendsgiving, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys afterwards. Hello, everybody. I'm at a green light now, <laughs> but I just got done with the Friendsgiving thing, and let me tell you, that was a uh, a great great time I had hanging out with all of them such a great group of people you know and I gotta eat food right I gotta eat food that was freaking cooked right like like chilies and like soups like a chicken bean soup and meatballs and like uh, enchiladas and it was <laughs> mashed potatoes it was amazing. I was just blown away by the food that they all made. And so I made those like goblets. Uh, have you, have y'all even seen any of the goblets? 
I got one right here, so so this is one of the goblets, you know, so that's what they look like. You know, it's kind of hard to see in the dark, but they actually turned out pretty cool. They like a, have a green glaze on them, and then a dark green glaze on the interior, and they have almost like a wine color, right? And they just, I just am absolutely in love with them, so. But, yep, that's kind of what I've been, uh, finishing up those goblets these past couple days, but again, it's just cool getting a, like, a, it almost felt like a, it was like the best ending, like this morning was the worst ending to a class, right, because I didn't even show up to the end, I was like, I just can't believe I forgot, man, that's just terrible, uh, so it was just the worst, and then tonight, was the best ending of a class where I got to eat and share a meal and share objects with everybody in stories. So it's just a really great thing to do. And I don't do these social things too often, but you know, some of the people in my class are just so, they're so nice. You know, I have to, I had to do something. So I wanted to make sure I gave them some chalices that I figured out that they're more of a chalice than a goblet. So, alright, well, hey guys, I'm going to focus on driving, and then I think that's going to be it for tonight. I finished those cups, and I did the three pots. I know this is a more of a chill day, but you got to understand that, like, chill in the fact that nothing crazy is really happening. You know, I feel like yesterday's video, there was a lot of really exciting things and a lot of exciting talking points, but that's also part of the work thing, right? Like, your flow of work isn't going to be freaking like exciting all the time sometimes it's going to be brutal sometimes it's going to feel not great sometimes you're just going to like, like want to be pulling your hair out you know sometimes you're almost going to be on the borderline of sleeping because it's so boring so it's just important to like keep on pushing through and keep on making even in even in these times where things seem like they're calming down right it's like even that much more of a time to make sure you're you're pushing yourself right so it's always good um but yeah thanks everybody for watching all the best strong mentality peace